up, Sunners? Welcome to another local band, Smoke Out. I'm your host, Tyler Most BG. <clears throat> Today we're doing an album review from Control. This album's called Arrival. They're out of Toronto, California. Uh, Facebook.com, Toronto, California. I can't be right. Toronto, Canada. And uh, Facebook is Facebook.com slash Control Official. I'm going to read you a little uh, excerpt that they wrote me um, before I did the review. This album's lyrics tell of a madman who says he hears a great voice telling him to fly a ship with his congregation into a nearby black hole where he will land in heaven. Only we can do it as we are chosen. It's a little uh, tidbit before we get started on it. It's going to be eight tracks, and if you've never tuned in for an album or EP review before, I've already listened to the whole thing. I got all my notes for each track. At the very end, I do an album assessment. I do the pros and cons, what my favorite tracks were. But uh, before each track, I kind of read off a little bit of the notes so you know what you're listening for in that song. Um, each song is only about a minute and a half of a snippet with the goal is if you like it, you go and support the band and buy the album on Bandcamp. Uh, really fast with sponsors though. Youngblood Productions, Down and Dirty Festival, Dirty Radio, Cali Care Group, Boost AK Terry Products, Octave Studios, and Vape Out. Alright, so let's get started. Track one is Arrival. The title track, it's the opening track to the album. Uh, you get some serious space vibes right away. Massive bass and 808 drops. Blistering speed on the kick drum and guitar. Blast beats, absolute madness. And it's got a cool space outro. So this is track one from Control. This one's called Arrival. Track two is going to be called Heralds of Ascension. Vocals finally come in on this on track two. Uh, cool evil synths in the background. Awesome evil high screams. There's a sweet gl sweet glitch break section um, a part in the, so in the song. Creepy low vocals halfway through. Um, at this point, I started to notice that the bass appears to clash in the mix, and we'll get more to that at the end of the review. But I started to notice that a lot in track two. Anyway, Heralds of Ascension from control. Let's check it out.
Track two, Herald of Ascension. We're up to track three. Excuse me, Beer Burps. Church of Orion. Awesome, evil, abandoned town music in the beginning. I really like some of the choices of like creepiness that they have going on in some of the tracks. Straight, evil vocals. Cool guitar effects in the background, <clears throat> and there's like some really evil laughs um, that happen in this track. Almost like everyone's just perishing at the same time, and he's just laughing about it, just laughing his ass off. Anyway, this would be track three. Church of Orion. Here we go. Dominus, Maximus, and after this I'm going to take a quick break and we'll be back with part two. Dominus, Maximus is actually one of my favorite tracks on the album. Crazy fast drums, um, pretty much on most of this track. Lots of 808 drops. Vocals are like Satan commanding his army in this one. Tell me what you think of track four from Control, Dominus, Maximus. Maximus for Control. We're doing the Al Arrival album review. They're from Toronto, Canada. Facebook.com slash Control Official. Be back in a little bit with part two. Don't go anywhere. All right, and we're back with part two of Control's Arrival album review. Facebook.com slash Control Official. We've made it to track five, The Prophets of Oblivion. Uh, it's got dope high screams and guitar parts on this one. Uh, really dope quick sweeping section that the guitarist does. Uh, it's got a cool break section with the sweet synth part that occurs, and then it's got a really badass ending. The Prophets of Oblivion, track five from Control.
Prophets of Oblivion. We made the track six, Transmigression. This track is actually vocally different uh, with the singing in the beginning. Um, it's almost like a circus conductor, kind of like orchestrating everything. Blast beats, exclamation point. Um, there's like agony screams and screams and panic going on halfway through, and then this one actually has my best, my favorite solo so far on the, the album up to this point. Transmigression, track six. Here we go. Track six, Transmigration. Track seven is called Trail of Extinction. Blistering fast drums again. Cool, super evil vocals on this one. Uh, the lyrics remind me of Marvel's Galactus. If you know about him, kind of like eats and consumes planets and destroys them. Um, another good solo, and it's got a pretty cool outro as well. Track seven, Trail of Extinction. Extinction, that one's heavy. Alright, so this is the last one. It's called Dead Space. It's an outro track to the album. Um, I really like the guitar riffs that are going on on this one. It's a little bit different um, than the rest of the tracks. Uh, one of my favorite tracks on the entire CD, actually. Super evil break that occurs in this song. It's kind of long, too, if I recall, but um, it's got the best outro yet. And of course, more 808 drops. Dead Space. Track 8 from Control. Universal genocide of every form of <laughs>
crazy, like, right after that part. That was track eight. The last one, Dead Space, on the Control Arrival album. Uh, Facebook.com slash Control Official. Right, so we're going to do the album assessment. I'm going to do my favorite tracks, the pros and the cons, and then give a uh, score on the overall album. My favorite tracks were Dominus, Maximus, The Prophet of Oblivion, and Dead Space. Pros, awesome evil synths and, and really cool concept going on with like the space and the, the like creepy little intro sounds that happen like right before the songs drop. Um, you definitely get space vibes. Awesome evil vocals. The drums were superb on the CD. Uh, but now the cons. So the bass really sounds muffled to me and distorted on a lot of tracks. I thought there was way too many 808 drops going on and I felt like overall the mix and mastering job was just very sloppy it actually like a bunch of times when you're listening to it it's the bass is so strong it like overpowers the track and you can hear the limiter mute like lower the volume of everything else just for a second so it can like get through so that kind of like really really hurt the production on it and I thought and it, and it affects the music because when you're listening to it you can't hear it the way it's supposed to be heard. So for that reason overall, I went 7.9 out of 10 on this. Other than that, the, the concept of it all is just crazy. And it's, it's pretty cool um, to just go on that little adventure right there. And uh, I'd like this whole space vibe of it too, because it just kind of takes you to like intergalactically out there. And uh, I don't know, it was a fun one. I just overall thought that the mix hurts the enjoying experience of it, so that's really why I went 7.9 out of 10. Other than that, I had a lot of fun doing it, guys. Thank you. That was Control with the Arrival album review from me. <laughs> Facebook.com slash Control official. They're out of Toronto, Canada, not Toronto, California. And uh, I think, uh, maybe I did write it down, but I don't think so. Toronto, Canada. But um, uh, if you're interested in having your band do one of these, or have me do it for your band, I guess you'd say I'm really stoned. I get really, really hot by doing these. It's, it's a lot of weed we smoked during these uh, eight songs right here. But um, if you're interested in having it done, hit me up facebook.com slash local band smoke out any genre from anywhere around the world. Uh, just make sure you like the page and watch the video that auto plays at the very top. It says click here to submit music. That's the one you're looking for. Other than that, I'm on Instagram, Masters, YouTube, Twitter, and Snapchat. Cheers. Keep blazing. And peace.